Uh, welcome back. In this blog post, we're going to cover creating this control here using Silverlight. Um, last blog post, which I'll just uh, go over again, we created this control and in blend resulted in this XAML, which I then pasted into the wireframe and that was the end result. So today what we're going to do is we're going to create control 5. It's going to fill this area within the wireframe. So let's go see, let's go into blend. All right, so let's close this one down. Let's create a new scene. And I'll call this control 5. Control 5.zml. Okay, so if we go back to the iTunes page, what, we'll, what I, how I always start is I'll take a snapshot of this and place it in Photoshop so that I've got something to refer back to. So what I want is this control. Image crop. And that is what we're going to create. So if you, look, if you look at the image size, what we're talking about is 528 by 55. So the area that we have to work with with this wireframe, I'll I'll just make a estimated guess at about 500 by 60 because this control here was height 60, so we'll keep the same dimensions. So going into blend, we'll look at the, take the canvas and make this 500 by 500 by height of 60. And that's what we've got to work with. So just expand that work area. Alright, so the first step, if you look at this picture in Photoshop, is we have a shadow effect within this uh, window area. And that shadow effect is literally just a rectangle with a gradient shade of light to dark. So and the light is the very end here and the dark is the very end here so let's just create a rounded rectangle in here so going in here round rectangle and there is the rectangle let's just position let's just move that into the center of the And let's make it rounded. So if we go here, you, you should get the around the corner. And there's the round. Now, if we look at the picture here, what we s if we use a eyedropper, what we see is that the gradient from the shadow starts at this color and ends at this color. So if we go here and we choose this and we choose gradient, we're going to start at this color here, which is I'm sure 149, 153, 133, which is 149, 133 there that's from there to this lighter color which is E1, E0, E1 there's two multiple ways to actually do this so we go here and I'll type in the hash code there and the actual direction of the gradient is from dark which is top to light which is bottom so dark which is top and light which is bottom yeah, so that's the drop shadow which is just it's very small here but that attention to detail is always a good thing so then let's do the inner part of this display area which is another rounded rectangle so let's make another re rounded rectangle in fact I'll call the outer rectangle 
uh, the outer shadow. Alright, so that's that canvas name, that rectangle name. So let's. That actual outer, outer rectangle doesn't have a stroke, so I want to get rid of this stroke. Let's make that zero. So now let's do the another inner rectangle, which is slightly smaller in size, and we'll just position it, make it a bit to get the height. Let's make it forty-six, and there you go. Let's make it forty-six. Again, attention to detail is it makes the difference um, between your app and another app. So let's move this above the outer shadow, and let's just name this now to um, inner display. And the inner display itself is a, has a gradient, and it's starts from this colour here which is which I'll copy and paste it into here there and goes to here there's about three different gradients to that you know display so I'll put another marker and this one's this color paste that and then the final point marker will be this color so then if we go back to uh, blend click on this and paste hash code there we have it and if you pull out there you have the the display actually looking pretty good compared to iTunes one. So there, we have this, we have this. So now let's put the um, the song title and the artist. They're just going to be text boxes. So title here. I'll call this the song title and. Is it the font size say ten and let's just align it to the center song title and let's copy that and paste it. <coughs> 